Got it. Who are you? Are you here to find me? Did Hana send you? Foolish girl. She never knows when to give up. Hana was sure you survived the blast, but how? Couldn't outrun the explosion. So I found a reinforced wall and put up a field at the moment of impact. Almost flashed out, but it was that or die. And this hurt. And this. That's all it says. That's all it ever says. I've burned, I've peeled, I've gouged. It won't tell me where they are. You tortured this person? It's not a person, it's Ket. They took my family. We need to leave this place. You're not thinking straight. I can't leave. This is my only chance to talk to these things, to find my family. If, if I leave here, I leave them. I can't. All right. Let's go, guys. What? We're leaving? There's nothing we can do. Joshan, Vart, Ela, Kayal. Those are their names. Are they in Saleum? Did you rip their being from them? Tell me! I'm detecting below water temperatures. Acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Find Michelle. Yes, sort of. Yes? Then where is she? She didn't come back. She needs your support to get through this. What do you mean? She's still affected by the loss of her family, and that's clouding her judgment. You need to help her. I'll inform Anyuk. With proof that Masha's alive, Anyuk will authorize a rescue. Thank you, Ryder. You don't know how much this means.
PB said she wanted to talk to you. Pet genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Teon weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tian found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. Tell me something else about the ship. The glass on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-Sec battering ram. It's sturdy. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal, and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. I'll let you con- You know what- Nuh uh uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices.
Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because? Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at jaw scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. Need something? I'll let you go. I'll be here if you need me. I thought I hated the Ket before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. 
When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Just looking for attention, aren't you? It looks wise. And those are tool using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? We can talk more later. Sure. Peavy? Really? I like her. You still don't? Does liking someone and being okay with... Not my business. Maybe. Just don't want to lose something important. See you later, Cora. I'll be... Weak, but I'll bounce back. I always have. I've broken each limb twice. You have to do more than wipe my immune system to take me down. Well, you and my mom would love each other. You still have questions. I'll try to answer them. How long were you in that facility? Days. After the Archon decided I would be exalted, I was sent to the facility alone. I was housed with prisoners who described how they were kidnapped, taken to holding camps, analyzed and separated. Analyzed? Until now, we never understood why some of us were sent to slave camps and others just vanished. The Archon chose to exalt me to use me for my knowledge. Perhaps others were chosen for their genetics. The Chosen? I'm only theorizing. I am a scientist, after all. What was happening in that facility? It felt like a religion, or a cult. Perhaps, but not to them. They honestly believe they are giving us a gift. The Cardinal seems desperate to keep that place standing. The entire facility seemed dedicated to one thing, Exaltation. That's why I asked you to destroy it, despite the lives it would cost. I hope the Resistance can still burn it to the ground, but I suspect the Ket have already re-engineered that shield. So Exaltation is how the Ket reproduce? How did you learn that? They're proud of it. They welcomed us and spoke of it openly. We were becoming them. To the Ket, all other life is inferior. Even, I suspect, humans. It looked like some of your people wanted this Ket gift. They walked right into those pods. As did I. 
voluntarily, happily, but that is part of the process. Part of the preparation, they called it purification, stripped our systems of all defenses. It was very painful. But after the pain came a beautiful peace, like a trance, like a transcendence itself. I willingly walked into that pod, and I cannot fault anyone else who did the same. The Cardinal said she had the Archon's DNA. So was the Cardinal exalted too? From what they described, I think they can be exalted multiple times. They strive always to be greater. And the Archon's DNA somehow plays a role in all of it. They're going to a lot of trouble just to make baby Ket. I guess it's also a way for them to control their evolution. They incorporate only traits they value, and unique adaptations they don't possess. So what are the chances the Ket have exalted other intelligent species... somewhere? I'd say those chances are excellent. Sam downloaded what he could from the facility. We'll be studying exaltation for quite a while. I'll let you rest. Wait. One more thing. I spoke to a guard, a former resistance fighter who remembered me. It described everything about its past, our past, with no trace of emotion. It seems that victims retain memories of who they were, but after being exalted, they live only to serve the Ket. Does your species dream? Sometimes. A Ket remembers being Angara. Like a dream it's eager to forget, which is beyond comprehension. Ishare, Pathfinder. I'm sure we'll talk again. Yaxul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out on about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on, but mostly it's a day out, something familiar. Turns out I need that. Hello, Scott. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Hello, Scott. Thank- Hello. Who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's 
complicated, Subi. Old Arbit is steady. Tracking a remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing. Detected. Deploying probe. Got a reading from the asteroid belt. 